wage estimation is the calculation of the profit or loss that a ship will make from a void charter. The estimation is arrived at by deducting all related expenses from total income. Now, here we have the formula sheet. If you have noticed, I have a negative number 7 because that's not, that's not normally given on a formula sheet. So I've added that one for you. The formula for total voyage expense is port charges plus cost of fuel consumed. Port charges refers to the port expenses of all the ports involved in the voyage. There are four factors to consider when calculating the cost of fuel consumed. A. The voyage time, which is the time in poise plus time at sea. B. The time at sea, which is the distance over speed. C. The quantity of each fuel consumed in the voyage. And D. The total cost of each fuel consumed. Here are some more facts. The IFO is only used at sea, while the MDO is used at sea and in port. Lastly, when calculating net freight, right, the brokerage commission is a percentage of the freight as agreed, and the freight as agreed is the cargo quantity multiplied by the freight rate. Now, let's do this question together. Using the facts presented in our question, we're going to calculate the total voyage expense, net freight, gross profit, gross daily profit, net daily profit, and the total voyage profit. So step one, we're going to calculate the total voyage expense, which is poor charges plus the cost of fuel consumed. We don't know what the cost of fuel consumed is, so we need to find that out. In order to find that out, we have to find out the total voyage time, the time at sea, the cost of fuel consumed, and the quantity of each fuel consumed. Let's start with A. So voyage time equals the time in port plus the time at sea. So the time in port, we know the time in port because the question states that the vessel stayed in Balboa for six days and in Georgetown for five days. So what we did was to add the six and the five to get 11 days. We don't know the time at sea, but we need to find that out in order to complete A. So let's go ahead and find the time at sea. To find the time at sea, it is distance over speed. So in this case, it is 4,600 nautical miles div divided by 21 knots. In doing so, the answer that you will get is 219. And we have to divide the 219 by 24, and that's where we will get 9, and that will be your days, 9 days. So that's what we're going to put for the time at sea in our total voyage time, the 9. And 11 plus 9 gives you 20 days. So the total voyage time is 20 days. So we still haven't found the cost of fuel consumed. So let's move on to C, where we'll find the quantity of fuel consumed using the tons of fuel consumed per day while at sea and in port. And as we know, the two types of fuel are the IFO and the MDO. 
from the fuel consumption details of the question we have gathered that we use 90 tons of IFO per day so what we're gonna do is put 90 multiply by the amount of days we spent at sea and 90 times 9 is 810 from the details of the question we have gathered that we have used 4.5 tons of MDO at sea and we also know that we spent nine days at sea so what we do is 4.5 multiplied by 9 equals 40.5 now let's move on to calculating for import so we know that we do not use IFO import so it is zero tons multiplied by the 11 days we spent in port now zero multiplied by 11 is zero so we know that we did not consume any IFO import now for MDO we know that we consume 5.5 tons per day so 5.5 multiplied by 11 and your answer will be 60.5 So in order to find the total of each fuel consumed, what we're going to do now is to add the amount of fuel used at sea and in port. So 810 plus 0 will give us 810, while 40.5 plus 60.5 will give us 101. What we're doing right now is finding the amount of fuel used at sea and in port and the total amount of fuel used overall in this table. However, this section of the table is not what we need to complete the rest of our work. So let's continue. So I have highlighted the total amount of IFO and the total amount of MDO because that's what we need to complete section D of our question. Now what we did here in section D was to multiply the quantity by the cost. So the question stated that it was $450 per metric ton for IFO and $725 per metric ton for MDO. So what we did here for IFO, we multiplied the 810 multiplied by that 450 and we got 364,500 and for MDO, we did 101 multiplied by 725 and we got 73,225 and our total was 437,725. And that is how we calculate the cost of fuel consumed. Now it's time for us to plug it in the formula and the total that we will get is 475,725 and that's the total voyage expense. Now let's move on to net freight. So the formula for net freight is the freight as agreed minus the brokerage commission. So the freight as agreed has a formula and the brokerage commission has a formula. So the formula for the freight as agreed is cargo quantity multiplied by the freight rate. Then you have to find 3% of that freight as agreed to get the brokerage commission. So let's go. As stated in the question, the cargo quantity is 28000 and the freight rate is $43. In multiplying the two, what we got was $1,204,000. Okay, so we bring down the $1,204,000. Then we find 3% of that $1,204,000. And our answer was 36 
$36,120. So we're going to take that $36,120 from $1,204,000. And the answer that we got is $1,167,000. $880. We have just calculated the net freight and now we need to find the gross profit, which is the net freight minus the voyage expense. So the net freight is $1,167,880 and the voyage expense is $475,725. And the answer that you get for that is $692,155. Now it's time for the gross daily profit. So the gross daily profit formula is gross profit divided by the voyage time. So the gross profit is $692,155 divided by the voyage time, which is the 20 days. So the answer that we got was $34,607.75 Let's move on to the net daily profit. So the formula for that is the gross daily profit minus the daily operation cost or the DOPC or the running cost. All those are the same thing. So the daily, the gross daily profit is $34,607.75 and the daily operation cost which is stated in the question is 24000 and we got $10,607.75 and finally the total voyage profit which is the net daily profit multiplied by the total voyage time so the net daily profit is $10,607.75 and the total voyage time is 20 days so multiplying those two we got two hundred and twelve thousand one hundred and fifty five dollars